After a tragic fire near 55th and Sansom took the life of a 12-year-old named Frank Morasco, community members and firefighters attended a vigil to celebrate the boy's life and offer support to his family. This was a, a spontaneous uh, event orchestrated by the members of the community. We're here just in support of the family to show sympathy for the family. And we want to start off just by saying thank you for coming to support this heartbroken family and this heartbroken community. We're more than a block. We are a family. And we need each other. Those who spoke at the vigil blamed the Nutter administration's brownout policy for an unnecessarily long firefighter response time. The policy, which involves temporarily closing fire stations across the city, was a part of an effort to cut the city budget. This is a Russian roulette plan of shuffling firehouses to be closed. We need our fire station in this busy community. Right. Right. We need our fire station. We need our fire station. Though Engine 57 is located only blocks from Frank's home, it had been shut down that evening as a part of the brownout policy, leaving Engine 68 to respond from a mile away. Community members and firefighters stood together with a loud and clear message that no amount of cost savings can justify the loss of human lives. Frank was a, a delightful young man that loved life, um, enjoyed life. Um, I'm a better man just knowing Frank. I, I'm gonna miss him very much because he, he was my only son and I worked very hard with me since the day he was born. I fought the school system because he was autistic and every, everybody, everybody that knows me, they, they know I did the best for him and they, they know that. They know that I wanted the best for him. So I don't know. need our firehouses. And my thing is, if you want to cut, cut your paycheck. That's right, that's right. That's cut, right. Your cut your paycheck. Cut your paycheck. We support this community. And many of our members who work around the corner at Engine 57, they apologize that they could not be here that night because they know they could have done the job. They know they could have done the job and they were broken hearted to find out what happened right around the corner from their firehouse. And I want you all to know that we were there the day they were closing 57s for their first time. And we told the city, it's not a question of if it will ever happen, it was a matter of when. That's right. And here it is, and we're so sorry to have to be back here tonight because this did not have to happen. And I apologize to the mother, and I apologize to the father that we are unable to be here for you because we want to. Forgive me. Also know that when I look at these firefighters' faces over here and the, how sad they look, that's a that's a look they don't want to have. And when when we hear people arguing about it's about overtime. I don't know because I see them just now digging their pocket and they pull some big money out of their pocket to pass inside that bucket just now. Right, right, right. They're sad because of what happened. I live right up the street on Chestnut Street. I would depend on that same firehouse to respond to my house too. I don't want to hear about I got to wait for one to come for 52nd of Florence to put a fire out that's going to affect me and my family. Especially when there's one right up the street. Now I know we're talking about saving money, but who wants to put a price on that little boy's life? I'm Janie Blackwell, the city council person for this area, which is the third district. And we're here because we support the community and its quest to have these fire stations open. Not only is this a protest about it being closed, these brown routes, but it is certainly a plea and a request that the mayor and the administration open back all the fire stations that have been closed. 3.8 million is not worth a life. No money can deal with the value of a human life. We are sorry that a 12-year-old autistic child died in a fire at 137 South 55th Street, and our plea is to open the fire stations immediately. 
The mayor wants gambling. He wants casinos. He's gambling now. He gambled here, and this this family lost. All these families lost because of the gamble. There are people dying. It's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all. We can't go on pretending day by day that someone somewhere will soon make a change we are all apart